learn to tune out the outside world and what other people think and what other people are doing, that's when the real magic starts to happen in life. When you're able to ignore negative things, negative people, negative events, um, people in bad moods, people uh, holding resentments, harboring uh, anger, um, with mindfulness and being more conscious, present in the moment. Being more conscious, present in the moment is uh, very important um, to being able to manifest mindfulness and to find uh, some peace and happiness in life. Um, I can't say enough how, how, and how much it works and how great it works. When you're able to get grateful in your mind, get in your, up in your head, and um, when you're able to manifest um, feeling greater than your environment. When you're having a bad day, when you're able to manifest mindfulness, feeling more abundant and happier than your actual circumstances. Um, it comes into part of the quotations of, like I've said before, fake it till you make it. Um, it works every time. All that matters is what we think and how we look and perceive ourselves in reality and people around us. Um, I've been practicing a lot lately with this and it just works really great. And you're able to just consciously be more present in the moment and fine tune the outside world out. And uh, if you have negative people in your life, be able to kind of like distance yourself from them, distance yourself from people that like to cause drama or, you know, family uh, and stuff that, you know, makes you feel negative and brings you know, negative emotions, past and present. Um, when we're able to distance ourselves from people like that that bring us down, it's so powerful, the feeling that you get. It's a relief of uh, the mind. And um, when we're consciously able to practice and be more present more and more, and you will, the more you practice, and the more you practice dropping negative thoughts out of your mind, the more a, the powerful and the more of a natural high you're going to feel for life in general, and you're going to start having empathy for others when you practice mindfulness too, and you know, meditation, being more present in the moment. Um, I practice this daily throughout the day, so I don't let others affect me and my mood, and my goals I have for myself in life. You too can do whatever you put your mind to. It's about just trying to stay positive, try to stay grateful, have gratitude, and not dissecting situations and that's like the people and uh, places and things. Um, the good thing too is to stay away from, uh, you know, then watching too much news or watching too much television. That's a really big key. This, and to try to keep uh, yourself, um, you know, in a daily balance of, uh, you know, uh, healthy routines. And I always say like, you know, you know, when you feel clean and refreshed, showering, waking up, and you're on, you're on your game, and you feel confident, that confidence helps um, with your, uh, you know, daily feelings of feeling abundant and uh, plentiful. And it's very big, I think, to uh, have a regimen of waking up, showering, and shaving, or putting on makeup or whatever. And... Uh, you know, make it a habit of because you feel, when you feel, you get more confidence, you feel better about yourself when you're clean, showered, shave, or putting your makeup on. But um, you too can start doing the things I do, avoiding people with road rage, avoiding negative things in your life by practicing these principles uh, with the laws of attraction and being able to manifest happiness and manifest success before it's there until it, and then it shows up in your life and everything's fine tuned. Um, it's all about fine-tuning our mind the way we want to think instead of the way uh, society wants us to think. Um, we can do whatever we put our minds to. Um, hope you all have a great day. Bye.